Hero House! Alright ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to another Hero House Reviews. Today we're looking at NECA's Defenders of the Earth, Ming the Merciless. So this guy rounds out the wave, and of all the figures, he clearly has the most pain work on him. I mean, just the sculpting detail that's gone to his collar, and uh, the belt, the sash, his chest just... And then the cape. The cape is phenomenal for just this price point. I mean, it's got wire through it, so you can pose it as required, and it just looks so good. The fabric doesn't look cheap or nasty. It looks expensive. And his weaponry and accessories, he's got a sword and a staff that are two of the best weapons I've ever seen on a figure, and again, at a rock-bottom price point. So, ugh, this could have been such a special release, this wave, if NECA just hadn't dropped the ball, because he does have the paint chipping issues, but again, it's the same basic body, so I'll bring him in closer so you can just see. Look at that face sculpt, look at that paint, look at all of this on him. It's just so, so incredible. Oh, look at that. Spectacular. Though you can see there's like some chipping on the joints already, which is unfortunate. He's not painted where he should be. So it's just this paint that's such an issue on these guys, and they could have been so incredible otherwise. Uh, let's see how he moves. He might be a bit more restricted from the get-go because of his uh, thing. So he's got the 360 bicep swivel. Sounds very tight. Uh, I can get to 90 degrees if I really want to push it. His arm's not going past 90 degrees. The double bend doesn't work, which is a shame. Can his arm get to 90? Can get to about... Uh, close to 90. Don't want to stress it, so can't quite get to 90. Wrist turns 360. Hands are on hinges, so you can move those. Head looks up. This is a soft fabric, so it doesn't actually like hold it too much. Sorry, soft material, not fabric. Head can go down. That's actually blocked by his beard. Uh, can he bend? Yes. Yes. So you can get that much forward out of him. So not a huge degree, but it's there. Again, not going to risk going back too far or even try it. His leg can come that far forward, so not quite 90. Can he do the splits? Yes, which is impressive considering the diaper thing. And his knee is one joint, so we can get to 90. Can it get the double joint to work? Yes. Double jointed knee works. Swivel? No, the thigh swivel's just not working. Shin swivel is there. Foot can go down that much, can come up that much, and a toe hinge. So yeah. He has the articulation issues of the others, which is a shame, just stiff in points, and you don't want to stress it in case he breaks, and he's such a nice figure, you wouldn't want him to break. Ugh, such a nice figure. So well painted, so well accessorized, so much good here, and it's just hampered by this really clumsy badness. <sighs> the accessories are so amazing, Light Flashy is going to get a 4 out of 5. Still mind-blowing, these are still such high-quality figures, especially for the price they are, but they're not perfect, and that sucks. But they're so close to being it, especially at like £30 or $30. That's just, yeah, phenomenal. Yeah. Four out of five. Let's dive into the pictures and wrap this up. One sec. Okay folks, and there you have it, NECA's Defenders of the Earth, Ming the Merciless. Such a solid figure, I think he has the coolest accessories out of the three figures so far. He comes with the, uh, you know, laser beam effect, also the little pew pew effect, and just the blaster that they all come with. So they've got fairly standard accessories across the board, and then a few extras in each figure, which is really nice. Everything about this wave, this line, is so impressive at this point, apart from quality control which just shows that it's one of the most important aspects of this industry. You need to make sure your figures do what they're meant to do. And uh, NECA just needs to learn that, because they would be such an incredible company, better than any other, if they could just get that under control. As it stands, this dude is a solid 4 out of 5, with incredible paintwork, incredible accessories, but limited articulation and some paint chipping issues. 
which is a big bummer. And yeah, that's it. Uh, if you enjoyed this review, we have plenty more that are updated very regularly. We've also got Hero House, Figure Fights, Top 10 lists, Ranking lists, The Wreckers, so loads of content to enjoy. So please like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you again. Thanks for your time, and all the best. Bye.